Hey, welcome back to another episode with Wrapped Around the Axle with Jay Wade. I'm Jay Wade. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Turbo Hydromatic 700 R4 GM transmission. One of my very, very favorite four-speed automatic transmissions. Used in GM used it in a lot of different applications over the years. And uh, today we're rebuilding a 700 R4 for a customer that has a 79 Pontiac Trans Am and he is changing out the original turbo hydromatic 350 for a which is a three-speed automatic to the 700 so he'll have a four speed which changes your gear ratios and changes your highway speed changes your rpms just makes it a lot nicer to drive and makes it a nice cruiser i'm sure that's what he was trying to do and uh, it's a nice car so if you've ever seen Smokey and the bandit it's that exact car it's very close to that anyway, uh, except for the honeycomb wheels, which I uh, don't know where they went over the years, but I really love those honeycomb wheels. Maybe put a graphic right there for the honeycomb wheels, Travis, for the people at home. Anyway, the three, four clutches are burned out in this one and did it within about 30 miles of him installing the transmission. Um, two things that are important, of course, installing it properly, but also making sure that the cables are adjusted properly. There's two cables to worry about. One is the shift linkage cable, or detent cable, as some people call it. And the other thing to consider is the throttle valve cable, or the TV cable. You're gonna need one of those, and you're gonna need a bracket, and it's gonna need to be adjusted properly because that cable controls the throttle valve inside the transmission of the 700R4. Some people call it the kickdown cable because when they realize it's there is because when they wanna pass somebody at cruising speed, and they stomp on the gas pedal, all of a sudden the engine gets really loud and it kicks down a gear and you go, usually go around somebody. So they call it the kick down cable. Basically what you're doing is you're adjusting the shift timing and the shift pre the pressure inside the transmission for the fluid for these valves. One is a free floating valve and one is a spring control valve. When you're pushing the accelerator pedal all the way to the floorboard, you're actually pulling the throttle valve cable forward. When you pull the throttle valve cable forward on that's attached to the side of the carburetor linkage, you're actually controlling the shifting inside the transmission, which gives you pressure and gives you timing. So if you give your car a light throttle, you might notice that your transmission will shift relatively quickly and lightly. However, if you give it a more moderate to heavy throttle, you'll notice that the transmission shifting may take longer and be more firm. That's all controlled with the throttle valve cable. So, when changing over from a three speed to a four speed, there's a lot of things to consider, including those two cable adjustments. Until next time, don't get wrapped around the axle.